Dunn on the little quick hitter again. Spins off a tackle into open field. Warwick Dunn is this gone. Is down to the 40, down to the 45. They toss it to Dunn to get to the corner, and he sails into the end zone. He was a big play specialist. He was always making big plays, spectacular plays. Warwick Dunn still on his feet. And I've never seen anybody um, play the way he's played. You know, being able to run full speed one way and then make a cut full speed and then get back as fast as he does. People have spent years trying to figure out what's so mesmerizing about watching Warwick run. I think Warwick was one of those young men. As soon as you saw him perform, you kind of knew he was something a little bit special. But here's the incredible thing. That something special is apparent even when Warwick isn't twisting and turning on a football field. It follows him wherever he goes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It's impossible to sum Warwick up in one word, but if you had to try, it might be hope. Because on and off the field, that more than anything else, is the something special that Warwick Dunn gives to the world. I think Warwick Dunn showcases all the intangibles that we hoped our heroes would have. Coming up when I was a kid, he was one of the guys that you uh, wanted to be like. He's never, ever disappointed uh, his city, the city of Baton Rouge, uh, where we're from, and uh, basically every city that he's played in, he's basically um, made a name for himself. And let's be honest, on the field, Warwick has made his name as a little guy surviving and succeeding in a big man's world. You realize that 5'9", 180, you are, 185, 185. Oh, sorry, 185, but <laughs> you are a hero to every guy out there that was ever told you're too small. How often, you know, did you did you hear that growing up? Well, I've always heard that I was too small. I was I was always the guy that when I touched the ball, I made things happen. And I just I just think the first time I didn't get picked first, but probably about the third or fourth time I went out there to play, I was the first pick. So that whole thing just changed. But all my life has been like that to where I've always had to really have something to play against and that was my size always. Do you see size out there? Like does it well, no. register? Well you know what's weird is that I'm sitting in the huddle and it's like bam, 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 <laughs> bam, 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 bam. You know, it's just like, what? You know, in the end, you know, you're gonna remember work done the football player and you're gonna remember him as the person because you know, you can't take away what he did on the field and you also you can't take away what he do for people and you know how he touched people's lives. You ready for you want to open up? There's no better example of Warwick's goodwill than his Homes for the Holidays program, where he helps provide good homes to single mothers. The Warwick Dunn Foundation held a charity golf tournament this past April in Tampa, where friends, celebrities, and sponsors were more than happy to come out and contribute to the cause. What's up, baby? Mike Clayton, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, representing Warwick Dunn. Always here for you, family. How y'all doing? Y'all good? What? How you doing? All right. You doing well? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're gonna do pretty good. Yeah, how you doing? Hey, you. Appreciate you, man. How you doing? Doing good. Yeah. Obviously, the work that Warwick does, uh, not only here in the community in Tampa, Atlanta, and Louisiana, uh, is a perfect opportunity for me to assist him in uh, any endeavors that he does. But as appreciative as the people are who support Warwick's projects, it's nothing compared to the families who are direct recipients of the Homes for the Holidays program. I have heard of the things that he has done, but I didn't expect for it to happen to me. Yeah, yeah so it's a little overwhelming. You can hardly blame Tiffany for being a little overwhelmed. After all, this past Mother's Day, she was surprised to discover the Warwick Dunn Foundation had completely furnished her entire home <laughs> and taken care of her down payment. This is Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Say hey. hey. You want to say hey to the camera over there? <laughs> you like your new house? The American dream is obviously to own your own home, and we, we help people live that dream. So I'm, I'm able to really experience life-changing moments when you hand the keys over somebody. I want to be able to present Ms. Vessel, Ms. Lewis, with their keys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, Thank you so yes, much. But we're not finished. Purple matches your purple. Oh, it's my sport right here. You, know, you want to go outside and play right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just think 
the way that I look at it is that I'm not just going to give you anything. I just think you have to earn it. I've always had, I feel like I've always had to earn everything that I have. So I, I just think if people are working towards something, give them a helping hand. Help them up that one step. They'll take the next step and the next step. Since 1997, the Warwick Dunn Foundation has assisted 59 single mothers and 152 children and family members. Warwick's dream for the Homes for the Holidays program was inspired by his mother, Betty Smothers. I see quite a bit of, of Betty in Warwick. I, I think some of the same drive, some of the same determination, the goal setting, to, just uh, wanting things to be better for others than, the, than they were for him or for her. Betty, a Baton Rouge police officer, spent much of her life trying to provide a good home for her six children. But her dream was cruelly cut short when she was shot and killed during a robbery in 1993. It was just devastating. Yeah, it was devastating. Betty was a remarkable lady and uh, was very giving and uh, just put, every, put all of her energy into her children. Warwick is such a great guy and he has a wonderful story to tell. He's translated a story that you know, would be one of tragedy for many people into a great mission. And it, it is a way that Warwick sees as helping to fulfill, in essence, kind of a personal journey that he had. Thank you, Warwick. Warwick has received numerous awards for his work in the community and in 2005 was honored by the NFL as the Walter Payton Man of the Year. I would say over the years, of all the awards that I've gotten, Walter Payton is probably the biggest because obviously the guy is idolized forever and ever and ever. Because can I ever be Walter Payton? No. I mean, I don't think anybody can ever follow that legacy that he left. So just to really be mentioned the same sentence on just the same fraternity and that special fraternity is huge. You're leaving quite a legacy yourself, you know. I hadn't done anything great yet. I'm just a little old guy playing a game of football. <laughs> Thank you, Alde.